Welcome everybody and welcome Doug, a celebrity sighting in my <laughs> own kitchen. This is my kitchen and I've this wanted you in my kitchen for so long. This is very exciting. On today's show we have dropped by Melina's house and uh, with uh, fall here and the harvest and everything, she said she was going to cook us a homemade meal and uh, maybe put me to work as well. Oh, app, that's a must when you come into my kitchen. Everybody pitches in. All right, so we're going to have uh, a how-to on some delicious food coming up on today's show. So what's on the menu today, Melina? You ready? I'm ready. Uh, we are going to start with a roasted butternut squash bisque with homemade creme fraiche, one of my favorite soups wow. for autumn. Uh, we're going to have an heirloom tomato and roasted garlic bruschetta. I know lots of people say bruschetta, but it's wrong. I lived in Italy for a while, okay. so it's bruschetta. Okay. Now, Doug, are you ready to do some cooking with me? I am ready and excited to do some cooking with you. Okay, me. so first things first, you need an apron when you're cooking in the kitchen. Right, you got to okay. protect the apparel. Right. So this is... Oh, you got some choices. Yeah, I have a few choices. Very special. Not everyone gets to wear my Buenos Aires apron this is where i was born right. it came right from there really so, that's nice uh, i don't know or something really manly oh look um, at that it's with sort of flowers and tulips and fall and festive it is. in a way you know maybe yeah. i'll just go with this one since it is okay okay so meaningful i'm gonna get mine on too when buenos aires close i know you said it so beautifully <laughs> <laughs> i have picked some things that are relatively easy to make featuring a lot of wonderful local ingredients oh, because fantastic. we are so blessed here in the Okanagan. We are going to start with a really easy dish that I love to make on weeknights. Everybody in my household loves this and it's so easy. These are some lovely heirloom tomatoes. Bathe them in some olive oil. Pour the olive oil in? Much as you want. Go Much nuts. As I want. Go nuts. Yeah, give them a nice little bath. And then we have also some local garlic. Go, give it a bam or something. The garlic, I, I'm not gonna bam, that's right. somebody else's stick. Well then make up your own. I'm, 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 it's a lot of pressure. Okay, so we got the garlic. Yeah. Got the garlic, the olive oil, the tomatoes. I'm gonna throw in some lovely kosher salt. Mm. And I've got some pepper and maybe you can oh. do a grind right in there. That's wonderful. Nona Pia's balsamic reduction. I used Ooh. to make my own balsamic reduction yeah. until I found this stuff, and it's so fantastic. A little bit of a drizzle, because more is going to go on later. Grab that fork. I got the fork. And then just very gently toss it all around, you know, around. coat the tomatoes. Cooking is all about love. There has to be love in this. So are you loving the tomatoes? I'm, I'm kind of salivating. That's good now. It's We're good. just, you can leave the fork okay. right in leave there. The fork right We're in gonna there. set this aside. And in the next few minutes, this is just gonna, the tomatoes are gonna soak up all mm. of that garlic and the beautiful extra virgin olive Where can oil. I put that for you over here? Let's put it right there, sure. Awesome. Are you ready to make some soup with me? Soup. Soup is good. This Let is me soup show you what here. I've done. Right. I took the most gorgeous butternut squash you've right. ever All seen. Right. I diced it up. Mm -hmm. I drizzled it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just some salt and pepper, really simple. And I put it in the oven at 425 degrees for about 45 minutes. Yeah. So again, you're the olive oil guy now right. officially. So give it a nice, good swoosh. A okay. swoosh? Is that one swoosh? That's a perfect swoosh. Thank you so much. Here's your official wooden stirrer. Thank you, oh, Melina. Oh, you're I'm touched. so <laughs> welcome. I want to like knight you with it. So my trilogy of ingredients for soup always, always starts with celery, mm -hmm. onions, right. and carrots. Oh, and again, okay. all local produce that I sourced out at our local farmer's market. Different kinds of onions lend different flavors. So. I love leeks. Leeks? And shallots, I find, also part of the onion family, impart kind of a, a sweeter flavor. So okay. all of this is going to go in. Wow. We're going to stir. You're going to be the stirrer. I got the stir. I got the stirrer. I'm it's ready. like the most important I'm job. I'm on the job. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. Yeah, it's looking, I think, just about ready to pull out my one of my most favorite kitchen tools in the world, which is my immersion blender. 
Oh my goodness. Can I hear it for the immersion blender? This is a bit scary right I now, know. Melina. So we get right in there. We blend it all up. And now we are going to take some heavy cream. Okay. Pour it in for the real pièce de résistance. Give it one more little vroom vroom. There needs to be wine and music. Like we should be con composing an opera right now. Could we compose like, an opera right now? We totally could. Oh, look at the bread you just painted with olive oil. Isn't it lovely? And then you say something back to me, but what operatically. I, operatically? Yeah. Like what kind of thing would I say? Like whatever you're feeling in your heart right now. Uh, I feel like, the, like you're right, the bread is very lovely. Yeah, so sing it. You're right, the <laughs> bread is very lovely. That was so good. We're like, we're ready. We're, we're ready, ready, to, ready to make an opera. Okay. So this wonderful garlicky tomatoey mess of deliciousness is going on our Looks fantastic. toasted bread. One last little drizzle of our nona pia. Our completed meal. What do you wow, think? It looks fantastic. Doug, but you worked so hard. Oh yes, I worked up quite a, no, a good yeah, little flower on my apron. Let me see your hands. All fingers are accounted for. We did Phew. not lose any fingers. All so right. we're gonna dig in. Okay, you go first because we can't both eat at the same time because then there's nobody to talk. Mm. Was it good? Okay. Wow. Oh, there's that is that is really really. There's so many flavors in there. Mm. So many layers. Mm -hmm. And it's creamy. It is creamy. It's that heavy cream that did it. It just melts in your mouth and you get that fall flavor just packed in there. Mm-hmm. Do it. Just like pick it up and bite it? Pick it up and bite it. All right. Make a mess. Bruschetta. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, good. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. How good is that? One napkin? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Melina. Thank you. It's been really a treat. We'll have to cook again sometime. And we shall. All right. That is it for the show. I'm Doug Brown. I'm Melina Moore. And we'll see you next time on Go. Dig in.